the princess and the frog once upon a time there was a princess many a sweet or came to play to win her hand in marriage but it seemed to the princess that each of them looked without really seeing her at all they act like there nothing more to a princess than her fine crown and royal dresses she said to herself with a frown one afternoon after one of these visits a princess thought sometime I wished I were little again. She found her favorite ball from childhood, and one that sparked when she threw it up high to the sun. She took the ball to the place yard and threw it higher and higher. One time she threw it extra high and when she returned to the cage the ball she tripped on the tree stump the ball fell and flopped right down into the royal well she raced over the fence her ball before it dropped too far but by the time she got there she could no longer see it in the water oh no she moaned this is terrible just then a small green frog poked its head above the water maybe i can help you said the frog she said the princess please get my ball no problem said the frog but first there is something i must ask you of you what do you mean said the princess it's for you to spend time with me today said the frog i am not sure i know what it means said the princess just spend time with me today repeated the frog All right then fine said the princess now please get me my ball i am on it said the frog he divided deep into the well a few moments later up he came with the ball held high in the hand Thank you," said the princess, taking it from him. She returned to go. Wait a minute," said the frog. "You promised to spend time with me today. I already did," she said with a shrug. And the princess walked back into the place. that night at dinner with her family and the royal adviser there was knock on the door the servant opened the door and saw no one there the frog standing down low clear his throat 
the princess promised to spend time with me today said the frog in the loud voice is he could so i am here daughter daughter said the king from far end of the table did you promise to spend time with this frog is he claimed sort of said the princess after a pause she added oh very well come on in the servant quickly set new place setting for the frog and he hoped over to the royal dinner table conversation turned to a topic of concern in the kingdom none of the royal advisor knew that to do father if i may said the princess perhaps we could stop the king cutting her off i have enough advisor If I may say, the frog, and it was the first time he had spoken at the table. There's more to princess than her fine crown and royal dresses. The princess stared at the frog. How could this little frog more than anyone else understand such a thing after dinner frog bowed to the princess he said you have done what you said you could do i suppose It's time now for me to go. No wait, said the princess. It's not that late. How about a walk in the garden? The frog was delighted. The two of them walked in the royal garden. Along. Talk easily. They laughed about many the frog hopped along the stone wall so he and the princess were at the same level. He could talk easily. They laughed about many things. Later, the sun set. They admired the deep rosy red. It cast the sky. The princess said, "You know, being with you tonight was a lot of me. More fun than I thought." I had a very good time too," said the frog. "Who knew?" said the princess. With a laugh, she leaned over and kissed the frog lightly on his neck. At once, there was a puff of cloud and smoke. The small green frog had changed into a young prince. The princess jumped back in surprise, and he could blame her. 
The prince quickly told her, not worry, that all was well. Years before, an evil witch had put a spell on him and he must stay a frog until he was hung by a princess. The witch had laughed an evil laughed saying, lie, that will ever happen. But it did. Now the prince and princess could get to know each other better. Years later, after they were married, they had beautiful setting made for the ball and places into their royal dinner table. And when the sunlight shone through the place windows, the ball sparkled for all to see.